that's a good place to bless him right there. <laughs> that's a good place to bless him. Is that your declaration today, Lord, that you made a way? Some of us can even look and say, we don't even know how you did it, but, we, we, but, but you did it. I promise you, Lord, I clear I don't know how you did it, but you did it. And, and truth be told, I don't even know. Some days I don't even know why you did it. But I'm thankful. <laughs> I, I, I don't even, I can't even explain it, God, but, but I'm grateful. <laughs> Could have been another way, God, but you did it. So I'm thankful. Yeah, I felt that in my spirit, but I, I, I don't know why, but you did it. Don't know why, but you did it. When my back was against the wall, when, when, when you could have threw in the towel, many of us, it hadn't been that much long ago that we wanted to resign. <laughs> we, want, we, 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 we wanted to say, you know what, that's it. I'm out. But every time, every time we got to that point, Sent us that little reminder that I got it. And that he's still in control. That's why we can stand. That's why we hear. Because he did it. And we thank God for that. Because truth be told, if it had been left in man's hand mill, they'd have thrown us away. Wrote us out for the count. And wouldn't have looked back. But because of God's grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're coming out of the book of Luke. Starting with uh, chapter 1, verse 30. Through 34. Luke chapter 1, verse 30 through 34. We're reading out of, for the sake of today, if my slides should be bad, data, but we're going to read it if, off the screen if we can in the ESV version, the e easy standard version. It's okay. It's okay. We good. We good. We good. Amen. And of course, if for those of you that are here, it is our custom that we stand in reverence to the Word of God. Whenever we are reading the Word of God, we're acknowledging that it is God. Amen. And it's on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us read together. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father, and he will reign. I'm sorry. Right? Am I right, sir? David, okay, and he will reign and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be since I am a virgin? I'm sorry, can we jot down 35? I'm sorry. There we go. And the angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, the Son of God. 
The title and the theme of this year is Overshadow 2023. Most holy and wise, eternal God, we thank you for today, this moment in time. God, we thank you again for allowing us to see 2023. So now, Father, we stand here in your, in your footsteps, Father, proclaiming your word, the word of God, to the people of God. Father, I pray that this word falls on good soil, good ground. I pray, God, that it comes forth with boldness and clarity, unhindered and unchecked by any demonic forces. Father, we thank you, God. Now, Father God, I pray right now that just make my tongue as a pen of a ready writer, Father. I decrease so that you may increase. Father, you be seen, you be heard, and you be known. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing King. Overshadow 2023. Overshadow. Today's message today comes out of the book of Luke, chapter 1, and it is a very familiar passage because most of the time that this passage is often re referred to or, or ministered by during the Christmas season. But as I was praying and meditating on this word, it, 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 it the words just seemed to have jumped off the page to me, and I could not let it go. And then I, you know how we do. I'm like, well, God, look, that, that was, that was, you sure that wasn't the message a couple weeks ago when it was Christmas? God says, heaven and where earth shall pass away, but my word is going to stand forever. So, so because it is the same yesterday, today, and forever, the word of God is not constrained to man's timing. So I pray right now that the people of God hear the word of God, what he has to say for you for the year of 2023. So we're lit, we have this setting here. We have the setting of Mary. Y'all know the story, Mary, the 16 year old virgin the one that was uh, uh, highly favored, had that encounter with Gabriel himself, right? Had the encounter with Gabriel, Mary, 16, minding her own little business, not, not, not studying what was going on, but then all of a sudden she has an encounter with Gabriel. And y'all know Gabriel. Gabriel is the one that, that, that the messenger of God. When Gabriel shows up, you automatically know that that message is coming straight from the throne, straight from God himself. Because not only did Gabriel show up to at Mary's house, but Gabriel also is known throughout the, uh, the, the Bible itself of showing up. You remember he even showed up at Elizabeth's house, Mary's cousin, to tell her about her baby right, that was coming, John the Baptist, the one that was going to be the forerunner of Jesus Christ. So Gabriel, when Gabriel shows up, he's bringing a word, and it ain't just any word. It's a word from most, almost from most high, and it is a timely word, amen. So now let me say this. Many of you may often question, oh, well, do angels still appear? Are angels real? Yes, angels are real. That's another teaching for another day. But I know somewhere in scripture that it says that you need to be mindful because sometimes you can entertain angels unaware. Amen. Now, I'm not even going to dwell into the fact that, yeah, there are good angels and then there are the bad, bad angels. But that's, again, that's another teaching. Y'all have to come see me sometime around the month of March. And we'll talk about that. But as it pertains to angels, a God, the angels are real. My husband and I, I think you've heard this story before, when we found ourselves in a situation in the state, the beautiful, wonderful state of Hawaii, where we were in a car accident. And I told you that story before. Somebody showed up in a police uniform. I didn't even never see his face, but he, I saw the uniform. Could never remember the face. But he showed up and he asked two questions. 
And when we get responded to the questions, that was it. There was no name on the police report. There was, I don't remember the name tags on the officers, don't remember nothing. So we do believe, and that's our testimony, and we standing on it, that it was at that appointed time that God dispatched his angel to come and see about his children. That's just one of the testimonies that I've had experience with it comes to the angels. But as it was saying this here, <clears throat> you have Mary, and Mary herself is, uh, uh, Gabriel shows up to her. And the first thing Gabriel show, does is Gabriel shows up and he says, Mary, you're highly favored of women. Now, when he said that highly favored of women, that meant that she was the one that, that, that shows up. She was the one that God had chosen. She was the one that God has selected. Don't you know that God has, has you on somebody's mind already? Don't you know that God has given you favor? That God has deemed you to be favor? I'm so favorable. I'm sorry it may not feel like it, but I'm here to tell you that the Lord wants you to know today that he's found you favorable. And so with that being said, you may not feel like it, but I want to let you know that God's word, God's word is not subject to your feelings. Whether you feel like it or not, God said it, and if he said it, that settles it in the name of Jesus. Now you just need to walk in it. Because I want y'all to get this. So here you have, she says, Mary is highly favored. And then he, she, he says, um, and behold, you're going to conceive. He didn't never say you might. He didn't say it was a great possibility. When, 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 when God speaks, God speaks to what is going to be. It ain't no second guessing. It ain't no maybe, no hope. I might and possibly know. If God settles it, said it, it settles it, right? He tells Mary, he says, you find, you're going to conceive in your womb and you're going to bear a son and you shall call him Jesus. Now, can I put a pin right there? When it comes to Jesus, right? Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us, Jesus. It was Jesus himself that left deity, left, you know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, he left deity. He, he, he came by way of Mary, birthed into this world. Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he could have snapped his fingers train and appeared or came rolling in on a host of angels. But he chose to come by way of mankind. And because he chose to come by way of mankind, he's 100% man, but he's also 100% God. And that's why, that's why he can operate in the natural and in the spirit. But he came by way of natural so that he can say, that, so that he can let you know he understands what you're going through. There's nothing that you experience that Jesus does not know about. Hebrew says that he's a high priest that can be touched by what we're going through. That's why we call on Jesus. That's why it's the good news. It's the good news because your Savior, Jesus Christ, came from heaven to in order for him to redeem mankind back to God the Father, the Creator. That's why it's the good news because truth be told, we were, uh, 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 we, we were humans, we are flawed, all because of what happened in Genesis. And because of what happened in Genesis, the first, with the first Adam, it was needed to have a second Adam to come to redeem man. Now, Pastor, why, why, why Jesus? 
Why Jesus? Why, how was Jesus able to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because at this point, he says, you will conceive him in your womb. Now, down in the bottom scripture, that in the rest of the verse, y'all can read it, but it'll t- it, it t- foretells about who Jesus is and what he, his purpose is. But this is how it was able to happen. Jesus, Mary didn't know a man. I know the babies are in here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Mary didn't know a man, right? Mary didn't know a man in the natural because that which she was getting ready to birth could not come by way of the natural because it was through the natural, Adam, that sin entered into the world. So if Jesus entered into the world like all of us, right, by a natural mama and a natural daddy, he would have been like us, full of sin. He wouldn't have been holy nor righteous. He would, he, so therefore, he would have been just like us. That is why the Lord allowed him to be a uh, 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 Mary, to have the Holy Spirit to come upon her and place Jesus in the womb. Now, can I just put a pin right here? That's why people, people often question this. Because to the finite mind, Mia, that don't make no sense. Why? Because our thoughts are limited to the natural. But the God that we serve is a holy God. He's deity. He's spiritual. It, it, the, the things of the spirit, the spirit can't even comprehend. I mean, the things of the flesh or the mind can't comprehend the things of the spirit. That's why it is written through the holy scriptures what transpired. Luke himself was one of the four synoptic gospels, and he wrote with great detail. He was a physician. So when he wrote, I would like to say either he was there or he had a one-on-one interview to tell, for Mary to tell him what transpired. She said, but, but then after all of that, all of that, now I'm like Mary. Mary, Mary, I, we got questions. We, we, we got questions. But, but first of all, even before I can get past everything you said, Gabriel, you just told me that I am going to conceive without a man. Now, let me say this. The reason why Mary wasn't really, 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 really totally shocked is because you have to understand Mary's lineage. Mary knew who God was. Mary knew. So it, some of the questions were there, but not a whole, whole, whole lot because she knew who God is. I got to ask the question, if Gabriel was to show up today, is there anybody in the house that know who God is? Better yet, do your kids know who God is? Mary says, Mary says, she says, how will this be since I'm a virgin? I'm glad you asked, because then Gabriel tells to her, he says, this is what I'm going to do. Let me, let me explain this to you, Mary. Don't you know God ain't afraid of your questions? I, I remember back in the day, Brother Washington, my grandma would say, don't be questioning God. Don't be questioning God. It is what it is. Don't ask questions. Hmm. I, I think there's a question mark over there beside how would this be since I'm a virgin? That's the question, right? Right. All right. So, so not to ask questions. And she said, the angel answered her and said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary. Baby, that's that's who's going to father your child. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And therefore, the child 
to be born will be called holy, the son of God, right? Okay. How has this been? Has anybody ever asked God, how are you going to do this? Has anybody ever asked God the question, how? how? Well, what are you going to do, God? Can, can, can I get a sneak preview of what this was to come? I, I don't want to be bi- blindsided, God. Can, can, you, can you give me a drop, a little couple of nuggets or something here? How, how is this going to be? I ain't got the right degree. I, I ain't been to school. I, my military career is coming to the end. What, what's going to happen to my next job? This, that, the bank account funding. That, how is it going to be, God? How, how, how you, you going to work that out? My credit score is like in about the fourth something. God, you told me that, that I'm going to get a house. How is that going to be, God? Man said this. God, but God, how it's going to be? Does anybody have a how it's going to be in their spirit? Well, I'm glad you do because God came and gave me the right word for you for the right season. He says, this is how it's going to be. Well, first of all, that word right there, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. That was for that season. But because... Right now, for those of us that are saved, have accepted what Jesus has done, we have the Holy Spirit with us. But now you just need the rest of the package, or you need to gather the rest of the package. This says, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. It's okay, I got all month to work with this, y'all. Yeah, I know it's a little bit here, but, you, you know, you got to work with me. Let, well, first of all, let, let's talk about overshadow, right? Overshadow defined. It is to shelter, to protect, cast a shade upon, to envelop in a haze the immediate presence and power of God overshadow. The Holy Spirit is going to come upon you and the power of God, the most high God, will overshadow you. Okay. Just let that marinate. It's okay. Overshadow. This is the year of overshadowing. And God is saying that that's why it's important to keep the word of God in your mouth. Because what is he overshadowing? Mary, because Mary was pregnant with the word. So the living word, Jesus is the word, the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. Mary was pregnant with the word. The Holy Spirit birthed the word. Or, I'm sorry, conception of the word. The Holy Spirit did. But it is the power of the Most High that's going to overshadow the word. You want to know how can this be? What's going to happen? Well, then I got to ask you, what's coming out of your mouth? See, John, if I, if I, Elder, if I, if I was talking about what, Olanda wanted, okay? God really ain't obligated to oversee what, what's coming out of my mouth. Why? Because it may be coming out of my mouth from a place of hurt. It may be coming out of my mouth from a place of ignorance. It may be coming out of my soul, whatever's going on, whatever happened. What, that's why when it comes to praying, when it comes to praying, sometimes we don't know how to pray. That's why we need the Holy Spirit to intercede on our behalf. Why? Because sometimes we pray the problem and don't pray the promise. 
overshadows to me to shelter to protect. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the To shelter, to protect. So if God promised to you that he's going to overshadow his word. Pastor Rick, okay. First point, my first point, first point. Overshadowing produces God's will upon a person place, region, or thing. Over, first thing, overshadowing produces. Well, what are you talking about? Well, I just read the story about Mary. Come here, Mary. You're highly favored. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Let me tell you who you're getting ready to birth. Let me tell you what you're going to bring forth, Mary, let me tell you that the what you're getting ready to bring forth, he, he's in the lineage of David, and, and his kingdom shall never end, Mary. Let me just tell you, the one that you're getting ready to birth is going to change the world. The one that you're getting ready to give birth to, Mary, has a purpose. Overshadowing produces, produces, produces God's will. Y'all remember the Israelites, right? When they were, when they, when they were um, getting ready to be uh, uh, rescued out of Egypt, it, it, it was a, they followed the cloud by day and fire by night. Overshadowing. God's presence was there. What did it produce? It was producing a testimonial from God's people that it was the Lord that led them. It was the Lord that never left them nor forsake them. Come on. Overshadow. Overshadowing produces God's will upon a person, place, region, or thing. God said, this is the deal right here, Alanda. Uh, 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 he, says, he says, because... You abide in me, and my word abides in you. There's nothing you won't ask, you can't ask that I won't do. Abiding in the word. It's the word. It's the word. What's coming out of your mouth? Return, giving God his promises, giving God his word back, because he is a God that cannot lie. So therefore, if you give him your, his word back, he overshadows his word. Now get this. The overshadowed does not dictate the process. Come here, Mary. You're going to have a son. Now, if you can know anything about the history, Naima, Mary was 16. Then for her to show up pregnant, two things could happen. Now, she, she, she was engaged to Joseph, but two things could happen. Because Joseph know it wasn't his. Joseph, okay. So two things can happen. Mary either is going to become a, a, a prostitute to sustain herself and she better hope her father doesn't put her away or better yet Joseph during that time had the right to stone her let's just say it was not becoming to be pregnant and unwed do we got anybody that's been that was that was a single parent mom that was born, but but because of who Jesus, who God is, overshadowed, God was able to over to override what would have, could have, should have happened. But this is the thing: just because 
you're being overshadowed that does not negate the process. Mary still had to go through nine months. But even before she got that, what what the people going to think? How am I going to explain this? Better yet, is Joseph going to still want to be with me? How am I going to explain this to Joseph? Joseph is going to think I done lost my mind. The ridicule, being the outcast, being talked about. How you going to explain? Hmm, how you going to explain being favored? Come here, Mary, you're highly favored amongst women. But God, you never told me that by you having your hand on my life, I might have to go through some stuff. I I might have to cry sometimes. I'm, I'm going to feel the after effects of the process. But, 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 my God. But, okay, God, that's that's what you said. (laughs) Which brings me to next, my next slide. Overshadowing brings out the highest and greatest purpose. It's okay. It's okay. It's, It's okay. Just let it marinate a little bit. If God said it, he's overseeing it, so therefore you have no choice but to bring forth. It says purpose. Do you know you have purpose? The funniest thing is, Brother Washington, Gabriel told Mary up front she was favored in her purpose right do you know your purpose because you got to know purpose you got to understand that 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 the overshadowing is going to bring forth the best that which is in the deep overshadowing brings to the surface So if you are not certain on what your purpose is, then you need to get in touch with the creator. You were created for purpose. It's not just God ain't had nothing else to do and and said you need to be here. There's a purpose for you. And it ain't for you to just sit and look cute either. You've got purpose. Lay your hand on yourself and say, I got purpose. That's why the enemy has turned up the heat on you in 2022. He tried to take you out, but it didn't succeed. He wanted you to take your own self out. Why? Because you got purpose. You're valuable to God. You have things to do for God. It is only through you that men will see that there is a God because of your testimony. You you, you went through, "Mm, come here, Mary. I I, I ain't going to tell you the process. I'm just going to tell you what the end result is. But you still got to go through these nine months. But I got to tell you the promise so that in the process, you'll hold on to the promise and don't abort. Overshadowing brings out the highest and the greatest purpose. If you are walking in the word of God, if you are standing on his promises, the results are up to him. Not you. The only thing that's up to you is your obedience. Come in, Mary. With that, Gabriel, if you said it, be it unto me. The best thing that you could do in 2023 is say, well, Lord, according to your, according to your word, be it unto me. What does that mean? That you have became in agreement to what the word of God has said. You have aligned yourself under the shadow. You have 
align yourself under the shadowing of the Most High so you have no choice but to succeed. Woo, Jesus, I'm preaching too hard. And y'all, y'all, that's, I, I got to get to this last one. And then I got to go. Y'all got to come back next week. I, I can't finish all of this, what the Lord has given me. But, but he says, he says, third point, overshadowing. <laughs> that has the capability, the power, and the authority. Let me read that again for the people in the back. Overshadowing has the capability, the power, and the authority to override human thinking. Somebody say, I can't trust my thoughts. Oh, oh, human thinking. Human thinking says, look. Mary, there's no way Mary, because God was pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Uh, you, you sure she didn't do something on the down low? That surely, surely that couldn't have happened. But aren't you so glad, glad that the power, it, it has the capability to override human thinking? Because when man says something, God got the final say so if you overshadow. If you're standing in his word, I don't care what it looked like. Had a conversation the other day. Uh, I, Brandon had a conversation the other day with one, with, a, with one of my members, and they were saying that they went to the doctor, and the doctor was saying this, that, and the third. And I say, Ann. I said, Ann, well, and the doctor said, okay, that's what the doctor said. But are you go going to stand on what man says or are you going to stand on God's promises? Um, uh, 2023, you got to make a decision on who, who, whose report you're going to believe. Stop all this staying on the fence. Whose report are you going to believe? Got it. You're not the first, you're not the last to have to go through. But whose report are you going to believe? It had, and because the capability, the power, and the authority is in the overshadowing, it's also in you. So what are you saying? See, the problem is, we, we hear the word. Me and we don't believe the word. We be wanting the word, but we don't want to be obedient to the word. Lord, send me a word. I'm waiting on you, Lord. I'm surrendering. My yes is this. Okay, do this, this, and this. What? Well, wait a minute, God. Where you at in this thing? Whose report are you going to believe? You either going to believe him or you ain't. And get off that fence. Remember, I don't preach that before. Get off the fence. If you all in, be all in. If you're going to be all in for Jesus, be all in for Jesus. Don't be distressed. You're no good for nothing if you're lukewarm. Overshadowing has the capability and the power, the authority to override human thinking. Come here, Hannah. You, you've been with Elkanah and what's that girl's name? I forgot her name. She always running her mouth and, and harassing you and making fun of you and everything, you know, because you ain't be able to have no baby. And then the priest can't even discern properly. He thinks you drunk and you really praying out of your heart that you want a child. And, and everything is just jacked up. And that went on for so many years. You to the... Mm. But <laughs> God heard her prayer. And opened up her room. Mm. I just want to know, anybody in, in, in the need of a miracle today? Any, anybody need some doors open that was closed? I know a door opener. I know the one that got the keys to all the doors. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I, I, I know the one that, that, that can say yes when everybody else has said no. I'm so glad that I'm a part of the supernatural. I'm in the natural, but when my natural mirrors up with the Holy Spirit super, then I'm able to operate in the supernatural. I, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. So therefore, I don't operate on the world's standards or the world's principles because I am a child of the Most High God. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I don't operate on what I see. I operate on what I don't see. And that's by faith. Hallelujah. Ah, right, we got to go. Five more minutes. One more slide. One more slide. Whew. Are, are y'all getting this? Okay, this is the last one we gonna, before we come back next week. Y'all got to bring somebody stuff because this is some good stuff. Lord, I got some downloads. He says, when you are pregnant with purpose, and target it to produce what God wants you to attract is overshadowing. When you are pregnant with purpose, think about Mary. She was favored. She was going to have a son. She's pregnant with purpose. Jesus, the purpose he came is to redeem mankind. And you're targeted to produce. What God wants. I'm here to tell you. And this is not gender specific. But you're pregnant with purpose. You're pregnant with purpose. And now I'm sorry. <laughs> the father is God himself. Because he's the one that put it there. He's the one that put that desire in there. He's the one that put that, that passion in there. It was put there for a purpose. Why? Because you're going to need the overshadowing to, to deliver. Let me, let me say it again. Because Ashley looking at me like, Pastor, what did you just say? You, when you are pregnant... With purpose. Think of seed. Only way a baby can come to the world is by way of seed, right? Birth. It has to be birth. Everything on this planet gives birth. When you're pregnant with purpose, you have purpose. Your conditions, your circumstances is not your purpose. There's your conditions and circumstances. But that's not your purpose. And because the purpose that's in you, the seed that's in you, is blessed, anything that God blesses is blessed to reproduce after its own. Mm. But it's, but, but, you know, like Mark Perkins, like, you are not the father. God is. Come in, Mary, you're pregnant by the Holy Spirit, but this is, you're going to be the carrier, but this is the purpose. You're the carrier, but it has a bigger purpose. So get yourself still, see what you need to see, who you need to see, get under the word, under the overshadowing, so that you can bring forth. Because that which you're carrying, the earth is groaning. <coughs> Miles, Dr. Miles Monroe, bless his heart, he says, the richest place in the world is the graveyard. Because so many ideas, so many people died not knowing their purpose. That which God has allowed you, purposed you, and allowed you to produce is for his glory, for his, for him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right there. Because you got to understand the year of the overshadow. Overshadowing brings out the highest and greatest purpose. 
Overshadowing produces God's will upon a person, place, region, or thing. God is overshadowing the city of refuge. <laughs> well, Pastor, how do you know how many storms we're going to get through? <laughs> Robin, how many storms we done been through? How can you tell if something's being overshadowed, Brother Washington? Because it's protected. It's shielded. No matter come what may, it's yet still standing. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's on a firm foundation. And what is the firm foundation? The rock, which is Jesus Christ, the living word. Hallelujah. Somebody give him glory. Now, I'm going to let y'all let that just marinate in your sha -na -na. It's it, It's tight, but it's, he it's heavy, but it's right. When you come here, you better be ready to take some notes in 2023, okay? Because if you don't need them now, you're going to need them eventually. But you better be ready to take some notes. That I, I'm downloading what the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord has given me. And it's so powerful that it's able to have spoken to your yesterday, can speak to your right now, and speak to your tomorrow. 